Under the surface of the sea lies a world filled with wonder and mystery. Man has only recently begun to understand the complexity of life in the sea and to unravel some of its many secrets. Much remains to be discovered. At first glance, life in the sea seems simple and harmonious. In reality, life on the reef is fraught with danger. Confrontation is a way of life. Predators are everywhere. Only when the basic needs for food and shelter have been met can one's attentions turn to finding a mate and ensuring the survival of the species. Life in the sea is continually evolving, creating untold watery niches, each waiting for that one living thing that is perfectly adapted to fill that precise station in life and no other, thus keeping life on the reef in balance. It is these adaptations that have so intrigued and encouraged us to learn more about the complex world of marine animals. And the more cryptic the critter, the more interested we became. When pygmy seahorses were rediscovered a few years ago, we set out to learn as much as we could about them. Hippocampus bargabanti is one of nature's marvels. These tiny seahorses are uniquely adapted to life on Muricella sea fans. At only two and a half centimeters tall, they weren't discovered until around 1970. With so specific a camouflage, Bargabant's pygmy lives out its life among the branches of this particular sea fan where it can disappear in an instant. This pygmy begins each day with a relative flurry of activity in the wee hours of the morning. Mating pairs acknowledge their mates with a series of moves. Mating follows when the time is right. By sunrise, the pair has separated to face the day alone and inactive. Juveniles appear on fans, and we know the young are born under the cover of darkness. How and where are still a mystery. Are they born on this fan, or do they settle out of the plankton onto any available fan? Perhaps they swim over from a nearby fan. For now, it's still a mystery. Several new species of pygmies have turned up. Among them, is Hippocampus denise. Reaching a height of only 16 millimeters, less than three quarters of an inch, this species qualifies as the world's smallest seahorse, the littlest seahorse, if you will. During the course of our observations, we've recognized similarities and differences between the species. For example, Denise's pygmy lives on a different species of sea fan, but like Bargabont's pygmy, it resembles the fan on which it lives. In this case, Subergorgia. The pygmy is slender, 
with fewer, more subtle tubercles that enable it to easily disappear among the branches of these large fans. This pygmy is decidedly more active than Bargabont's. Hippocampus Denise spends its days bobbing and weaving among the branches while traversing these large sea fans with ease. In fact, they can be very hard to keep track of once they start moving across the fan. During one of our early morning forays to observe and document the pre-sunrise activities of this species, this male surprised us by unexpectedly giving birth. Although the babies were dark brown and no bigger than a thread of formed little seahorses, the male watched as they drifted one by one up over the fan and into the water column. Then, as if satisfied they were safely away, he got back to the business of birthing. He repeated this sequence until 13 miniature seahorses had been born. Shortly after, the female came into view. The male stretched out to greet her as she rose. The two began a rite of courtship that included a series of moves, some synchronized, some in apposition. These moves would eventually lead them to a natural hideaway on the fan. Nestled safely away among the fan's protective branches, the pair carried out their provocative mating dance. It included a series of coordinated moves, tail wrapping, and eventually more swimming. A few minutes later, the female transferred her eggs to the male's brood pouch, where they would develop in safety until mature enough to live on their own. The cycle of life had begun anew. The pair separated and went about their business as the sun rose over the reef. Their most important work had been accomplished under the safe cover of darkness. The reef would keep their secret safe within itself. To the daytime observer, this would be a day like any other. The rhythm of life would go on as usual. But for the littlest seahorse, today is just the beginning.